again everyone this is Woody here again with another work in progress video and what I want to show you here is a project that I'm just about finished with and that's the uh, modular kitchen cabinet units uh, let me show you how this fits together uh, I have a left and a right door those can be added separately or you can just leave them off all together and each one of these units are separate, so you can make your kitchen as big or as small as you want. And it also comes with a corner piece to help you around walls for the lower cabinets and the same for the upper cabinets. And I also have the sink unit here. It's the same type of sink that's used for the, uh, for the restroom. And you can see that it still has the uh, same type of pipe hookups as the sink does. Um, I still kept with the same style as Yamboire as far as the doors are concerned. I mean, I like the rope handles and that rustic look in the, uh, in the open screen area here. Uh, now, this still isn't uh, compatible with uh, mods like Creative Clutter or Do It Your Shelf. Um, like I said, I didn't want to step on any other modder's toes, but if anyone else wants to create clutter, uh, pieces that can be put in there and that will mesh with the snap points you're more than welcome to uh, but what I have here is just what I've developed so far these are five different separate uh, clutter pieces and what I've done was I take some of, I've took some of the uh, default objects from the game and I've optimized a lot of the uh, the meshes within it to reduce it you can see if you look close it looks a little blocky but for multiple storage items like this in a cabinet, I mean, that's plenty good enough. And I've also just created a simple box-shaped collision mesh for each one of these pieces. So the uh, memory requirements and the processor should be, uh, processor requirements should be a lot less with this. It should be as demanding as a lot of those other clutter objects that you have in other mods. A little bit lighter weight, if you will. Um, once I'm done with this, I mean, I'm still uh, wanting to tweak some of the textures just a little bit, but once I've completed with that, I'll be ready to release my next update, which should contain all of the uh, decorative items I've come up with so far. So that's all I have for now, guys. Take it easy.